synths, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Lightbath. Its eternal mission to explore strange new sounds, to seek out new noise and new joy, to boldly go where no synth has gone before. Captain's Log, Stardate 8675309.2. Bork of FM has requested tastier treats before I may participate with a ritual known as pets. I'm headed to engineering to meet with Commander Barton to upgrade my FM skills. Captain, sir. Commander Barton, I need your help. I've successfully calibrated my translator to speak FM by modulating the carrier oscillator with a second audio rate oscillator. This is enough for simple communication, but it's not enough to impress the furry life form known as Bork. Can you show me something more interesting? Let's take a closer look at the console. Here in engineering, we have many different ways of doing frequency modulation. I'm going to take a sine wave out of the principal oscillator of this Bukla. You can consider it the carrier, but instead of using the modulation oscillator to frequency modulate, here we take a function generator, that's an envelope generator, put it in cycle mode, self-cycle, and ramp its speed up to the audio rate, and send that to the attenuverter CV in. So, adding this... get your sort of classic FM. But what this allows us to do is have a larger sonic vocabulary. In other words, more FM treats available to us because now we can control the attack and the decay, which changes the sine wave dramatically. using another function generator, putting it in self-cycle, and using its control voltage to control the decay of the first function generator, we get all sorts of sonic treats. There you go, Captain. Thank you, Commander. What a brilliant idea. Instead of using a fixed waveform modulator oscillator, we can cycle a function generator so as to give us variable rise and fall shapes to give way more tasty treats as we're modulating this principal oscillator. So let's now translate that recipe over to this endorphin system. I'm going to patch out of the final output so as to give some more spices at the end. But right now, the way the knobs are set, it's going to sound just like a sine wave. Now if we take the unipolar output of this cycling function on the left side of the grand terminal, we can patch it into the CV input of this principal oscillator. And as we increase the attenuverter, we get that FM sound. And next, we can take a second cycling function, patching out of the unipolar output again, and we can modulate the fall of that first function generator. Okay, great. Let's now get some easy knob control over these different components. Let's bring it up and just start playing.
such beautiful FM. I think we're now finally ready to serve up some tasty treats to Bork and move along with the ritual known as pets. Let's head back down to the planet. Hello again, Bork of FM. I come bearing treats. Yes, treats. Let me show you.